of mainstreaming depravity, the poster child for deviant behavior, is President Biden's son, Hunter. And the fact that the media just looked the other way for years about him speaks to an implicit tolerance, not just of his drug and sexual proclivities, but his abuse of his father's government position that ended up, of course, just enriching the entire Biden family. It's glaring. Joining me now is Stephen Miller, former senior advisor to President Trump and America First legal founder, and Miranda Define, New York Post columnist, Fox News contributor, author of The Laptop from Hell. Uh, Stephen, let's start with you. Now, the media, they're doing their best to make folks like this Yoel Roth and other former Twitter execs into victims. They're like they have to live in an undisclosed location. Uh, do they deserve that classification as victims, given what they did? Well, no, but first of all, speaking on a personal level here, all of us who put ourselves out in the spotlight, in the public arena, in positions of influence or authority, we should expect that we will be called out by name, we will be criticized by name, we will have our words and our deeds analyzed. We should expect nothing less. You know, for seven years, I've had a microscope on me, but I would expect to have a microscope on me given the choices I've made in my career. If you are in charge of some of the most important decisions for one of the most important companies on planet Earth, then you deserve every bit of scrutiny you get. And this caterwauling from the media, this disingenuous crocodile tear shedding, pretending that it's so horrible that he is facing some kind of accountability for the decisions he made is completely and totally incredible. And I don't take it seriously for one second. And Miranda, I mean, on this issue, it seems to me that we, we see depravity on display, both his past postings, uh, this, this push to kind of destigmatize pedophilia, which has been building in academia for some time. And they say, well, it's, they're not acting on it. They're just fantasizing about it. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's ridiculous. But it kind of is in line with everything that's happened, from Hunter Biden to the Twitter censorship itself, which is, is a perverted view of the Constitution. Look, you're so right, Laura. And I think what we're seeing is, I think, the last taboo, which is child sexual abuse, uh, is now being eroded. They've eroded every other taboo, you know, and this is just the last one. And it really is the one that we need to die in a ditch over. This, they cannot destroy this last taboo. Uh, that's the end of us as a civilization if we accept that. And um, it's, I think, notable that Elon Musk, uh, within two weeks of taking over Twitter and, and seeing what was going on, did more to eradicate child sex, uh, sexual exploitation material than anybody at Twitter had done for the previous 10 years, where it's really exploded. Uh, I hadn't realised uh, that Twitter had become such a repulsive place where if people look for that material, they could use hashtags to find it. And I know that people who are, are you know, survivors of child sex trafficking have uh, really come out and congratulated Elon Musk for that. If he does nothing else uh, with his purchase of Twitter, I think that is enough.